Hello everyone and welcome to Toxic Diamond Movie Nights. I'm Manny Kill, your host today, and today we're on Cinema Blend and we'll be talking about Justice League Zack Cinder shares more details on his initial plans for the Cinder Cut sequel by Eric Swan. Zack Cinder's G uh, Justice League is just around the corner and its release will mark the realization of a dream for Cinder himself and his fans. Ahead of the film's release, many fans are already sharing their hopes for the future. Zack Cinder honestly doesn't think that uh, tr think a true sequel to the Cinder Cut will ever be made, but that hasn't stopped him from from talking about his initial plans for the rest of the Justice League franchise. The filmmaker ha had all the filmmaker had already shed light on his potential sequel, but now he's gone a bit deeper into his intentions. In previous interviews, Zack Cinder has mentioned the the nightmare world. The setting scene in Batman's post-apocalyptic visions was something he wanted to explore more of. Cinder recently appeared at IGN's Fan Fest, during which he further confirmed these intentions. He explained that a future film would have seen his Justice League grappling with the new world. And I quote, The idea was that as the movies rest, the next movie, if there ever was one, and doesn't seem like there will ever be, but if there was, it would primarily, it would primarily in that world, the Justice League, trying to set it right. Previous rumors seem to suggest that this potential film would see a ragtag team consisting of Ben Affleck's Batman, Jared Leto's Joker, and Joe Ma May I'm sorry for butchering this name, Joe Magagnello's Deathstroke take center at stage. However, it seems the, uh, the original six league members would have been the ones to na navigate the new reality and attempt to fix things. Some may not remember, but there was a time where when Warner Brothers had multiple Justice League films planned. With this, Zack Cinder went on to say in the same interview that he planted seeds within his cut. That hint, that hint at what might have been. And I quote, well, it was meant to be two more movies. It's hint, it hints, as you would at a potential other world. I, I'd plant the seeds as I, as I had wanted to of what would come t in the later films. So that's in there. But as far as those stories that would, that would be to come, if ever that would happen if that if ever that happened happened which it does not look like it would but i think it's easy to speculate based on that and we can talk about that for quite a while a nightmare set justice league film definitely would have been an interesting change of pace such a movie could have allowed center the opportunity to show different sides of the heroes and their supporting characters the alternate versions of Batman and Joker alone are evidence of that. The chances of the Nightmare-inspired Cinder Cut sequel are very slim at this point. As Zack Cinder admitted, still, stranger, stranger things have happened. There was, after all, a time when many of us didn't think his cut of Justice League would ever see the light of day. Thank you guys for sticking around this long in the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.